hello everyone welcome to today's chemistry class today we will discuss the topic number of atoms in ion cell here we can see the number of atoms present in different types of ion cell first we will discuss primitive cubic ion cell it is also known as cubic ion cell or primitive ion cell and in primitive ion cell uh, it has only eight atoms in its corners okay at the corners uh, only the particles are present that is known as primitive unit cell so here we can discuss the number of atoms of primitive unit cell each atom at a corner is shared between eight adjacent unit cell so here each unit cell uh, is uh, contacted to seven other unit cell so uh, one atom one atom is shared to eight other adjacent unit cell therefore four unit cells in the same plane and four above or below the plane one unit cell is conducted to four unit cell in the same plane four above or sometimes four below therefore only one by eighth of an atom or a molecule or an ion actually belongs to a particular corner okay so ഒരു പാർട്ടിക്കൾ എയ്റ്റ് യൂണിറ്റ് സെല്ലുമായിട്ട് ഷെയർ ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നുണ്ട് സോ വൺ ബൈ എയ്റ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ഓൺലി ഫോർ വൺ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ കോർണർ ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് എയ്റ്റ് കോർണേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റ് ആറ്റംസ് അറ്റ് ദ എയ്റ്റ് ആറ്റംസ് ഓക്കെ എയ്റ്റ് ആറ്റംസ് ആർ ദർ സോ എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റു വൺ ബൈ എയ്റ്റ് വിൽ ബി ദ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ സോ വൈ എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റു വൺ ബൈ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് വൺ each small sphere represents here particles are represented by small spheres the vertex and not the actual size such structures are called open structures since each unit cell has eight atoms at its corners and 1 by 8 is the uh, contribution so the number of atoms in unit cell cubic unit cell is 8 into 1 by 8 that is equal to 1 so 8 is the number of atoms at the corners and 1 by 8 is the contribution so 8 into 1 by 8 that is equal to 1 that is the number of atoms in un, uh, in primitive unit cell okay because it has only 8 atoms at the corners so 1 is the number of atom in primitive unit cell now we will discuss the number of atoms in body centered cubic unit cell body centered cubic unit cell or bcc a body centered cubic unit cell or bcc has an atom at each of its corners and also one atom at its body center okay along with the eight corners bcc has a uh, one atom at its body center so eight corners that we have studied eight corners into 1 by 8 is equal to 1 that already we have discussed and one at the body center that one atom is uh, only for that particular unit cell so that one can be counted so 8 into 1 by 8 plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 the total number of atoms present in uh, body centered cubic unit cell is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 atoms so 2 is the number of atom in uh, body centered cubic unit cell or bcc here you can see the uh, picture or diagram of bcc body centered cubic unit cell now we will discuss face centered cubic unit cell number of atoms in face centered cubic unit cell or fcc a face centered cubic unit cell contains atoms at all the corners and the center of all the faces of this cube okay along with eight corners six faces all the six faces has one atom all the centers of six faces okay face centers of six uh, faces okay this in a fcc unit cell eight corners into one by that is equal to one and each face is shared for two unit cells so one uh, uh, particle at the face center is shared for two unit cell so contribution is of one particle is half so like that we have six particle at the centers of each face so 6 into 1 by 8 is a contribution so 6 into 1 by 8 is equal to 
ओके सिक्स इंटू वन बै नोट वन बै एट सिक्स इंटू वन बै टू सिक्स इंटू वन बै टू इसवल टू थ्री आटम सो सिक्स फे सेंटे इंटू वन बै टू आटम पर् यूनिट सेल ईक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू वन बै टू दट ईस ईक्वल टू थ्री आटम सो टोटल नंबर ईक्वल टू एट इंटू वन बै एट प्लस सिक्स इंटू वन बै टू दट वन प्लस थ्री दट ईक्वल टू फोर आटम सो हियर इन एफ सी सी यूनिट सेल फोर इज ए नंबर ऑफ आटम पेसेंट नंबर ऑफ आटम ईक्वल टू फोर सो इन बॉडी सेंटेड टू फे सेंटेड फोर and in primitive one this is a number of atoms present in different types of unit cells now we will discuss packaging or close packed structures okay packaging or close packed structures of uh, uh, particles so here during the formation of crystals the constituent particles are closely packed so in crystals or in solids the constituent particles are closely packed and it is known as close packed structures or close packaging or it is simply known as packaging so particles are closely packed it is known as packaging or close packing or arrangement or packaging of particles in close packing the maximum available space is occupied so here maximum space is occupied the stability of the crystal depends upon the extent of close packing how the particles are arranged the particles are tightly packed that depends of that, that determines the stability of the crystal in close packing the solid particles are considered as identical spheres in close packing the solid solid particles are considered as identical spheres okay so we can discuss the different types of close packing so packing or packaging can be done in three ways either one dimension okay it can be done in three ways one dimension in two dimension and in three dimension these are the three methods okay today we will discuss close packing in one dimension and close packing in two dimension and three dimension we will discuss next today okay so close packing in one dimension there is only one way of arranging spheres in in a one dimensional close packed structure that is to arrange them in a row and touching each other that means in a, like a straight line here the particles are uh, identical spheres we are spheres at kanakkunu and they are arranged in a line arranged in a line touching each other and in this arrangement each sphere in contact with two of its neighbors so here each sphere is in contact with two of its neighbors so each sphere is in contact with two of its neighbors the number of nearest neighbors of a particle is called coordination number allengil or sphere ne touch etra sphere touch cheyunnundo that is known as coordination number or the number of nearest neighbors of a particle is called coordination number etto aduthulla neighbors ne nammal endu parayum coordination number aa number nammal coordination number nu parayum here in this case the coordination number is 2 the nearest touching neighbors is called the number of nearest neighbors is called coordination number here 2 is the coordination number okay now we will discuss the close packing in two dimensional or two dimensional packing when the rows are combined touching each other the crystal plane is obtained the rows can be combined in two different ways when the particles when placed in adjacent rows show a horizontal as well as a vertical alignment and form squares this type of packing is called square close packing so first of all in two dimensional close packing we have first type of close packing is known as square close packing that means uh just one dimensional close packing uh, one row is arranged then one more row is arranged over the first row then the third row fourth row like that one over the other nu varnale first row ede mele adutha row pinne adutha row pinne mele mele ingane row 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 arrange cheyana but all all the rows are same as the that of first row ella row oru pole aanu first row pole it is known as square close packing so we can consider if the first row is considered as a type row the second row being exactly the same 
of same as that of first one and it is also called a type similarly we may place more rows that means same as that of a so this this category of close packing is known as a a a type of arrangement because all the rows are same it is not, so it is known as a a a type of arrangement the figure figure we will see after some time okay in this arrangement each sphere is in contact with four of its neighbors so here in this arrangement uh, the each sphere is in contact with four of its neighbors so the coordination number or the two dimensional coordination number is four also if the centers of these four immediate neighboring spheres are joined okay lengil idinde immediate aayittulla naal sphere inde centers join cheyidunnal we get a square or a square is formed so this close packing or this two dimensional close packing is called square close packing or it is square close packing in two dimension here the uh, coordination number is 2 and if you join the four neighboring spheres centers of the four neighboring spheres you get a square so it is known as square close packing in two dimension okay now we will discuss the next category of packing it is known as hexagonal close packing so we can discuss what is hexagonal close packing when the particles in every next row are placed in the depressions between the particles that is two sphere inde idil mon randamatha layer arrange cheyumbol two sphere inde idil matte sphere vechu kiyanal that is known as placed in the depressions between the particles of the first row the particles in the third row will be uh, vertically arranged with those in the first row so first row and second row both are different and the third row is just same as that of first row so second row is different from first row and third row is the same uh, is just same as that of first row okay this type of packing gives a hexagonal pattern and is called hexagonal close packing the second row may be placed over the first one in a staggered manner we will see the diagram such that its spheres fit in the depression that means and sphere inde idil aitana vekka adana depression of the first row if the arrangement of spheres in the first row is called a type the one in the second row is different and may be called b type so a first row is a second row is different from first so it is b so a b and third row is just same as that of first row so it is a b a b type of arrangement when the third row is placed adjacent to the second in a staggered manner its spheres are aligned with those of the first layer hence this layer is uh, also of a type same as that of first row the spheres of similarly placed fourth row will be aligned with those of the second row b type first row yum third row yum similar second row yum fourth row yum similar so it is a b a b type hence this arrangement is called a b a b type in this case there are some empty placed uh, places known as voids in this arrangement there are some empty spaces and here the uh, in, in in this case the uh, number or coordination number is 6 because there are six neighboring uh, spheres one sphere is touched with six other spheres six other spheres so it is known as so so six is the coordination number in hexagonal close packing six is a coordination number and if you join the centers of the six adjacent uh, spheres you will get a hexagon so it is known as hexagonal close packing amma center join cheyidam amma hexagon kittum so it is known as hexagonal close packing and here you can see the spheres and the diagram so first one is a is here a is uh, square close packing a a a a type of arrangement ella row yo oru pole aanu appo and coordination number 4 aanu aa oru sphere naal sphere ot touch cheyittund and if you join the centers of the spheres you will get a uh, square so it is known as square close packing and the figure b it is ab ab type of arrangement because the first uh, row is different from second and the first and third row is same second and fourth row is same okay so ab ab type of arrangement and the coordination number is 6 because one sphere is touched to uh, six other spheres and if you join the centers of these six spheres you will get a hexagon so it is known as hexagonal close packing so this is the diagram of square close packing and hexagonal close packing so that is all about uh, 
uh, today's topic. Uh, thank you.